So here we have evaporation. And this is kind of a two for one video because uh, the, the people who are experimenting with regard to how the temperature affects the rate of evaporation, um, they need three identical bowls or containers. Now for the people who are doing surface area and, and how that affects the rate of evaporation, all you need are, are three containers that, that have uh, uh, different diameters. In other words, this is a great big one, this is the medium, and this is the small. And as long as they have different diameters and, and, and they're considerably different, you're just fine. Now you notice I have a measuring cup. I've got 200 milliliters of water in that, and I'm going to put 200 milliliters of water in all these containers. Now, at the end of every day, you are going to pour the water back in the measuring cup and take a look at it and see how much is gone. And it probably won't happen really, really fast, but it will go little by little. If, uh, if you have a measuring cup like mine, you're going to have to do a little bit of estimation. Um, just get right down in front of it and look closely and, and, and you know, make, make a reasonable estimate. Uh, and, and that really isn't too tough to do. Um, so at any rate, uh, th this really is, is quite simple. Um, you know, you're going to put the, the three identical bowls and you're looking at temperature in three different temperature zones. One that's kind of chilly, one that's room temperature, and one that's, you know, warmer than room temperature. Doesn't really matter where you put these guys. The only thing um, that you want to avoid uh, would be a drafty area because that draft actually is going to make uh, the evaporation happen a little bit faster. But, uh, you know, keep, keep that in mind. Uh, now, with regard to the paperwork, it isn't as bad as it looks. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to, the quantity of water, 200 milliliters in each one. Now, this, this fraction, the evaporation fraction, this number, this percent, isn't as complicated as it looks. Let's say, for instance, on the first day, in the warm area, you have 10 milliliters of water missing. Okay, beautiful. You're probably not going to have that much. This is really more for an example than anything. But, but just for the, the sake of discussion, you're missing 10 milliliters of water. That means you started out with 200, and now you have 190. Divide the 200 into 190, and you come up with 95%. So that is going to go right there for day one. Now let's say day two, you lost 10 more milliliters of water. Now you got 180 over 200, and that works out to 90%. And that's going to go right there for day two. And you're just going to keep going along until, until you've, 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 I'm not going to say you've got to lose all the water. Um, I'm not even sure how long that would take. But, um, you know, you need some data. There's uh, 13 days uh, uh, space here for you to, to mark all that down. So see what happens. Uh, now, on to the graph. another crazy looking graph three lines you, you'll want to use color I had to use the symbols uh, because I couldn't reproduce all these graphs in color um, over here on the y-axis where my thumb is this is the percent remaining in container notice they all have to start at a hundred because you know from the jump they haven't lost anything day one you're, you're going to have something there and it, they might not have lost anything so your day one might still be at 100 it might be a couple of days before there's a noticeable drop uh, you know so just just go with that um, and uh, that's that's really kind of about it the days are down here on the bottom and uh, you know and again if you have any uh, trouble with the graph or the data table I, I can help you with that that's that's not a big problem um, hopefully this will go smoothly for you Again, all these start out with 200 milliliters, and every day you're going to pour, and it doesn't really matter which, uh, which one we're talking about. You're going to do the same thing for all of them. See what you got there, and take your reading. 
and when you're done pour it right back in and that's really just about it good luck